I want to do a podcast. I want to do a podcast. I'm not saying that. I'm only on your shit. Then when you then when you get a, an opportunity to get on the mic, I don't need you nothing up. I'm good. We gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna, we gonna leave that. I'm gonna fill it out. We gonna we, work it out. We gonna leave that to the listeners to um, see what they say. They probably not gonna say nothing. They probably gonna try to protect your feelings. Nah, they tell me. If they your friends, <laughs> <laughs> my friends are definitely. <laughs> Lose need to be on that bitch. <laughs> Whoa, welcome to the Best Friend Weekend Podcast, man. It's your man, Aldo Nice. Wow, uh, it's your boy, Los, a.k.a. C-A-P, a.k.a. your mama's favorite ex. I don't I don't know what he just said, but I'm, I'm sure <laughs> and if y'all play that back, it probably makes some kind of... It makes buku sense. Well, yeah. So, I mean, it is it is the Best Friend Weekend Podcast, you know, like... Look that. Us, our best friends, and you know, um, my boy Raj moved kicking it this week. He had a um, couple of little work obligations, so he couldn't. But the, hop. the question, am I really your best friend? I mean, we all best friends. In a best friend, I don't know. You probably be my wedding, though. I'll give you a wedding pass. Yeah, man, I could, I could. Do you qualify for best friends if we, if you in my wedding? Me, I don't know. I've friend. been in a lot of people' weddings before that I don't really think about. Man, I shouldn't say that out loud, but yeah, that I really. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you somebody like one of their best friends, and it might not be vice versa. I didn't thought about that many times. That's the reason I don't want to get married, cause shit, then I'm gonna have to pick who's gonna be in the wedding. That's a that's a struggle. That is a struggle though, especially say say your lady got like twelve bridesmaids. Then that's easy though. But if you already oh, got, got like four, four five, yeah. then you got to cut it down. And I'm going to feel some kind of way if I ain't in that bitch. 12 people? I'm I'm feel 12 people, way. I can get everybody who need to get in there. If you don't make the top 12. I'm going to feel some kind of way. If you don't make the top 12, you you all Definitely going to feel some kind of way. Man, look, as I was saying, okay. my man Raj Smooth is um is on is on, on vacation this week, but he's going to be back. I think we're going to do two pies um, sometime soon real quick. But, Raj um, Smooth. Hey, when I first read Roger, I was calling him Timothy the whole time. Well... Remember that? You remember yeah, that? I do, but I mean, he doesn't look like a Timothy. He didn't. But I remember you saying, my nigga Tim, my nigga Tim, my nigga Tim, my nigga Tim. You can send about Roger. I think I did. I think you just I call you got selective memories. Tim all the way to the club, like who's on the couch and everything. So the thing about my boy Los is we've been, uh, my, my, the, uh, another one of the best friends, um, Los. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by best friends. Um, Ding! But <laughs> that man... Um, we we've been shopping the idea for a podcast, and I think we gonna we gonna actually. Um, I thought we discussed we were gonna talk about that on here. No, we gonna definitely talk about we it. We just discussed we were gonna talk about that on here. You, listen, see the thing is, we discuss things, and and sometimes I think you got like selective memory, kind of like a little chick sometimes with that. Like you hear what you want to hear sometimes, just a little bit. I, I'm not chick. calling you a hoe. You call me a chick. I'm, I did not call you a chick. Yes, you did. I said it's just kind of like that. My point is. We was talking about um, having a podcast called um, Educated Ignorance. Definitely. And what we're going to talk about. That's my brainchild. Don't let him take that. You know, Al, Al Smart, he'll try to take something from me. I mean, I will. But you see, if you don't have the infrastructure to run stuff, you can't say stuff in front of a dude who got the, who got the infrastructure. You got the infrastructure to run stuff? I mean, I got the infrastructure to do 20 episodes of Educated Ignorance by next weekend. And then the brand is already stolen. So you don't play with me. Don't play with me, boy. No. I, 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 <laughs> anyway, you got a mic and a computer. Tell them a little bit. Tell them a little bit about educated ignorance and what. Um, well, educated ignorance is gonna be um, what we're gonna do. We, we it's basically gonna be around education, you know. But we're gonna we're gonna definitely bring the ignorance to it. Uh, I'm definitely a teacher. Um, I've been teaching for years now, and there's some things that I have strong opinions on. Me, I have spoken on plenty of times, you know. Um, but we we gonna talk about a bunch of different topics, and we are gonna bring it all full circle towards education. But at the same time, it's gonna be ignorant. You know, it's gonna be the educated ignorance of most of the things going on. Our target audience is like um, gonna be um, teachers, <laughs> black teachers rock, <laughs> <laughs> some something like that. One of yeah. them little, you know. But, but we gonna have a lot of. I, I, I've sold an idea to told a couple of ideas to some people, and they really they really like that. But it's gonna bust, man. Once once we get it up and going. I think we're gonna we're gonna be all right. I think yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we definitely gonna name this this um particular podcast educated ignorance. That's what we're gonna call um the one we're doing currently. So we're gonna talk about some stuff. What so, are we talking about today? That's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. What are we talking about? I, I know I told you to just come over here and we're just gonna run it about yeah, stuff. Got me here in this little hot room sweating. What are we gonna talk about though? 
Uh, we talking about uh, we talking about some educated, some teacher things, man. Teacher things and real life things and how these things kind of go together, man. That's 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 all, man. Is that is that hard? No. So the story that kind of been it's not what she said. <laughs> the story that been the most prevalent this week. I mean, you know, a lot of things happened throughout this week, but um, the story that was the most prevalent this past week on some um, on some clowning in social media and <laughs> and and a whole bunch of hits type thing has been to deal with my man U S A G R R A Y M Hurt O N D. That's gonna tell you what you want to do. Hurt Dad and Respucia. <laughs> I feel like oh, I had did. the most legit laugh out loud this week. Oh, she didn't hit her. When they showed a picture <laughs> of Usher's accuser and she was talking. And the caption on, on IG was, now y'all lying on my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all For lying real. on my nigga. Usher. For real. Okay, my, my whole thing is this, right? I feel like every man basically... Sleeps with chicken, fuck chicks around his little, around in his little level, like his little lane. Like, say if you were a five or six, you one of them niggas, right? You, you, you know, you might catch your eight every now and then on the slick, on, on, on lucky shit, you know. But most time, you sleep with poo daddies, right? You, you, you sleeping with something around your thing, like basically you fucking who the fuck wanna fuck you. In my mind, when you usher, dog. All these women came to your show, right, to see you, and whatever they really admitted or not, all of them want to fuck. Why would Usher go digging the gutter? Like it's it's not about being a big chick. I don't think it's it, but it's her that type of big chick. Okay, Usher clearly hit that hole. No the way. thing is, no way. But but this is my wow. point. This I got like three hundred and fifteen reasons. Can I tell you why? Can I tell you why? Go ahead. I'm just gonna start with this. Because everybody different, man. Everybody mm-hmm. got... I think it's just a fetish. Cause like, okay. So, to, to sculpt it in a teacher perspective, it's a thing I was thinking about when I heard the story. And I, I told, like, somebody asked me, they said, you think he did? I was like, absolutely. I was like, because everybody, everybody... People got fetishes. People be wanting to do stuff. And wow. I was talking to a teacher, and this is what the teacher said. Chick was like, well, some, um, some teachers smash the students. And I was like... That's it, different, though. But bro. Okay, how is that different? It's disgusting. My point is, one. my point is, it's oh, the same thing. No, it's not. It's the, no, it's it's the not. exact same no, it's thing. Not. Let me tell you why it's the same thing. That I'm teacher listening. didn't. That teacher didn't have all the best penis and dick niggas she wanted readily available. All they do, it ain't the penis the, and dick. Listen, no, <laughs> okay. listen, no. This, this podcast is brought to you by people who have penises and dick. <laughs> no, that, no. <laughs> what I'm saying is, if if I'm a teacher, right, and I'm not, and I'm knocking down kids. I ain't everything I want outside of that. I ain't knocking down like it. Bitches ain't just running on me like that. Okay. If I feel, I feel like niggas who knock it down little girls in 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 high school, dog. Number one, yes, I recognize that they yeah they do look wrong, and they they the best. So you teach best, they you teach on what level? I teach, I teach elementary. Okay. So and I get how I get your point there. I used to teach um, middle school and did a little bit of high school. When I first started teaching in um, high school. I used to come to my classroom and I have little notes in my bag yeah. from little chicks, okay. little girls, whatever. At the time, I was like 24 and they like 18, the 17. The same thing happened to me when I was student teacher. Okay. And so I had to leave that. So you get the temptation. I get the temptation. Bro. And that's from a man, a man getting tempted by a little, little hot little girl. Yes, but what I'm saying is them little girls are probably, them dudes who knocked them down. Did you knock any of them down? <laughs> no, I did not. Okay, not then. All right, then. <laughs> what I'm saying is that, that, that wasn't the best available pussy you had at the moment. I feel like them, them don't teach, they, they, they knock down okay. what's, so what's the I, best, what's, what, they got, what they got best right there. Like, can, I, can I tell you this? I, I can understand how, um, man, you know, from, from, since, from, from way back, man, they, they always have stories about old coaches smashing the little girls. And it be, who, 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 who was it be? Like, the, they had in my school plenty of time. And who was it? The chick, who was she at the school? Oh, she was the run. Yes. She was the live wire. She was the live wire. But my, but that, and who was that coach? Was was he the coolest dude walking around? There? Nah, nah, he was exactly. Cool. He had long shoes on. Exactly with them short shorts with the bike with the uh with his ticket register out the back. I'm thinking. Yeah. So I mean, I, I get your point. But that is teachers smashing students in the '90s. 
Teacher smashing students in the twenty tens. Yes. Is women the, is women smashing little boys? That makes look grown too. And I think that's got a lot to do with it. Yeah. But okay, so we yeah, didn't look as grown then. We let have. me put it in a bigger social in a bigger social commentary than this. This has always been my my opinion on on that. Okay. I think that when you're in the presence of like your coworkers, you you have a tendency to like kind of act in. And, and deal with people the same way your coworkers do. That's the people you spend the most time around. Yeah. When you're in education, specifically when you're a teacher, your coworkers are the other teachers, but the people that you spend the most time around mm -hmm. are kids. Okay. So you're in a room with kids all day, every day. Like these are the people who y'all like y'all having conversations with. You hearing their little mess, their little gossip, this, yeah. that, and the third. So it's almost like the teachers become like a little. A little grown-up version of how the kids little petty back and forth and get, get where I'm going with this like cuz you sound like I'm you're condoning this like this well, no, no. like I'm sleep like I, I'm sleeping with this one I'm sleeping with that one I'm doing this and I'm doing that it's like almost like a little yeah. it's all kind of stuff be going on at schools you know it yeah I do know so my point is if you that one teacher woman who feel like you supposed to be getting that supposed to be getting that attention you think you're cute or whatever and then you go to work every day and the two or three dudes who are actually attractive on your campus just egging you. Don't get paid you no mind. You Come booty. On. That mean you poo. But then but then little little um Rigoberto <laughs> in third period. <laughs> that thing who, 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 who's 18, 19 <laughs> years old. Look, no, he's not they not 19, they're 18, oh. 17, 18. Let's even go down. He's 15, 15 years old. Yep. But he, he look a little manly. Yeah. And you a little short woman. And he walking up on you. And yeah. you can see that, you can see that paw print on him. Oh. Oh. And he rubbing up on you when he the boys got popped. I'm just saying. Okay. When he and he rubbing past you in class and telling you a little and paying your attention, man. You know, women is a lot of times emotional human beings, and if somebody paying you that attention that nobody else. Number one, that means that means it's just a lot of shit with that word. She poo. Number one, she don't have to be poo because you didn't see in the pictures of some yeah, of these I've women seen getting caught up. They not poo. Did, yeah, I've seen some pictures. and I'd be like, I wouldn't touch that though. Like, no, oh, absolutely. The majority of my women. But the ones that hit the news, they show you the cute ones because they want that shock value. Yeah, they yeah. don't show you they the garbage. They do. But my thing Matter is, fact, what's wrong cool. with the, the men on your camp? Because they you don't want to smash you. Dog, nah, come on, man. You know, you know, teaching is a breeding ground for men. It's a breeding ground, bro. You know that Friday, Friday at the school, bro. Women are they teachers? Are they freakiest? Where mm -hmm. they going? Mm -hmm. Where they going to school Friday? Where they going? Yeah, they going to happy hour. With that, with that all day pussy, and they ready to get up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, you can't, you can't say, and it's, it's somebody okay. on that So somebody knock you down. But you, but okay, let's say you don't want none of the dudes, none of the dudes want you. Okay. I'm saying, I think something, obviously, something is wrong with them. Mitch a little, yeah, absolutely. Like so, the, the little chick who got, uh, I, and you know, maybe I'm giving too much of the game, but the little chick who got juiced in Houston recently and got the ten years for getting pregnant by the little yeah, dude. Yeah, she's wild. So that was the second incident on that campus because yeah. they were, another teacher was giving students lap dance. You know what that mean? That mean they need more male teachers over there with some some with some big jobs. I dare go smashing them. Matter you fact, should transfer over. No, there. I can't do that, bro. I'm 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 not a savage no more. I'm trying to live my life righteous. <laughs> as as we all are. <laughs> I'm trying to live my but life I got right. a couple of cats I can I transfer over few. there. I might put my my cousin. I got a cousin that might he go over there and slaughter go the over there campus. and keep, get him in line. Get him in line. He will slaughter the entire campus, though. And I know a lot of guys who would. <laughs> I know a lot of teacher men who would. This podcast is brought to you by male educators. You know what it is. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by super savages. <laughs> <laughs> Some have been worse. <laughs> Nigga, but, um, but, okay, I say all of that to say I think that that's kind of like the backstory behind that. But I kind of feel like... Like, when I was talking about that school real quick to, to put a rap on that, I'm just saying, the teacher who was giving her lap dances didn't really get a lot of play. The one who got pregnant and did everything, she got all of the headlines. I think it's because she was a little bit cute and it was the shock yeah, value. That too, but the, the, the lady who giving lap dances, something wrong with you, lady. Like, you don't want your job, for real. Like, my, okay, it, it's no, like I've, seen, like, like I've said before, I've seen little girls at the high school. I wonder if she pulled her pants. I've some. <laughs> she might have did bust it open. My talk son who's like, okay, you know, you look cute little girl, whatever, but and they come back and want, you know, hey coach, all that. I ain't about to give you no let or knock you down, bro. No, now you sick, man. Give it's it a, a little girl. But giving a kid a lap dance is way more acceptable than getting that letting that little mom, letting that little child um impregnate you. No, oh, no, it's not. I'm not no. You gotta think about it. you giving a child a lap dance in class in front of everybody with their so phones out. Do you think it's more condonable to go smash that kid behind, behind their back? Yes. 
<laughs> it's not condoned. That's the most all. ridiculous shit I've ever heard in my life. But you can't do you. My thing is, at least you sneaking when you go behind people back. Like you take them home, you know, give them a little Michael Jackson Pepsi, daddy. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then you know whatever you do, whatever you do to get them right, you know, whatever. You know, but you can't, you can't give no child on lap dance in school in a classroom I with everybody there right. and think that shit cool. I think it was right? a special ed class, so it might have only been like three teachers and two students in there. And so they they, they gonna be like, hey, I, don't, <laughs> I, I didn't see none of that, huh? I don't mean just the river head on Jonathan. Hey, hey no, you know special no, ed, no, the no, no we are not about to, no. Special ed teachers are the freakiest people ever, but we not about to do the no. special ed for I'm talking about the special ed kids. Stop it. They the freakiest kids ever. Yeah, I remember this, this, this little dude in middle school, he used to be in the locker room and he just pull that wood out and just be beating that Dog, it's a little, I got a little dude in my school right now, bro. In the middle of my class, bro. That boy dropping drawers and point that thing. Yeah. He, he said, eh, He's eh, not showing sure what it is. Eh, He's not showing sure what it is. Yeah, he busted over. Any any woman teacher, he grabbing them titties. Okay, so everything. Bigger point is bigger point. You didn't make a point. Y'all. My Wait, point was just the fact, just, just my whole big point was just that I feel like that's a fetish. I feel like it's in the same vein of a usher in that. Those teachers, something wrong with them, yeah, but I think it might something be so a what preference you're too. Is, oh, I think it's a preference. No. Okay, so let me ask you something. You don't think? Okay, so I don't look. I'm okay with whatever you do behind closed doors, whatever you want to do. Most forever, definitely. Whatever. No, no, I'm not okay with whatever you do. No, I'm not. I am. Not with whatever you do. Okay, let me, let me, if let you me. You fucking little kids. It's not cool. Okay, so let me quantify. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. If you if you're a homosexual person, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Just just just, just don't be. Do you agree like that <laughs> homosexual people were born that way? Yes. Okay. I do. So we in agreement. I do that. believe that nature, not nurture. We agree. Except we for women, because you know women are play. But that's not homosexual. That's just they're just nasty sometimes. Um, Ding. I would say <laughs> that uh, it's much the same way homosexuality. I just I kind of think that. Your preference is your preference as far as what you like to do behind closed doors. Like, whatever. So my thing is, some of that shit is legal, some of that shit is illegal. But some people, just like some people, like, born as, like, I, I like dudes, some people born, like, I like smashing people who very young. Like, I, I got, the first piece of pussy I got was when I was 16. It was a 16-year-old girl, and I just like 16-year-old girl pussy. I hit some 20. Forever. Forever. <laughs> That's all I like. That's all I like. Forever. As a, as a as a twenty some year old man, your only mind see that, that that let me that for let me know what kind of nigga you is if that happens because so what you saying something wrong? My question is something, something wrong. Is wrong. That ain't no preference though. I don't think nothing wrong with that. Th having a preference that you all in one sixteen year old pussy. If all if cutting because if you can wrap your head around the fact that a man could want to smash other men, you can't wrap your head around the fact that a man could only want to smash 16-year-old girls? I can say 18-year-old. Okay, 18. but no, you see, now you're putting, the, you're putting the man's laws on it, man. You can't. If you talk back to, like, the 18, 15, they 13, they were was there, 13, 12, you know, nasty too. But I, I get why they doing it because they want that thing young, fresh, and forever when I'm old. I get that part. But if you're 20 years old, it ain't a big difference between 16-year-old pussy and 20-year-old pussy. Okay, so that's my point. My point is, I think... That you can, if your fetish or your the thing you really like, and I don't know if fetish is the right word, but it's not fetish. Fetish can be the right word. I want it to be the right word. You do. You force it. You, you're forcing fetish on everybody. Bro. I mean, that my fetish is to force it on everybody. But oh, then, that's um, your fetish. You like to force it <laughs> on everybody. Ding. <laughs> this so, podcast um, brought that out. Being a forcer. Okay. <laughs> the enforcer. He don't know what no means. Oh. Um, <laughs> <still stupid. laughs> So the, either way, the um, I guess the point that I'm getting at is that the the fetish is, I think that teachers kind of kind of have that. Like I, I think that it's it's okay for someone to have a preference. Yeah, it's something I that agree. is way left of what you think. But it can't the, be a crime. You can't act on it. I never said you could act. Okay. On it. My point is that you can feel that way. You can be like, I want to smash. Little boys. Just as long as you don't never smash little boys, I'm okay with. Like it is okay to have anything in your head that you want to do. Cause so it's it's similar to somebody being like, man, I really, really, really want to do coke. I really want. It's to just do a sexual preference. I'm trying to think. It's something. Do I have something that I really, really want to do that I haven't acted on before? Uh, we had this talk recently. Yeah, you was just running it. I was very rare. I remember. You, I have something that you really, really, really want to do that you don't act on it. Unless you talking about unless you know it's illegal, like That's super true. illegal. Yeah. 
Like if everything I if, if I want to take if I want to take people up and kidnap them and, and then smash them like that, I'm I'm a oh, killer who do that son of Sam or whoever else one of these Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, the, you can find somebody who won't let you do that. Yeah, I was about to say you can really find that. So the easy. thing is, if you got a really bad fetish at the end of the day or a really bad thing that you really like to do, you just gotta work harder. That's all it means. Yeah. <sighs> Nothing wrong with it. You just gotta work hard. I don't, I don't, I don't. If you like smashing little boys, you gotta find you somebody who look like little Jairus from from the Saints. <laughs> Get you a little one of that, like little people. Get you a little person. That's the correct. Somebody term. with a kidney problem or something. Yeah. Right? You get you somebody little, and you bang them up, and then you feel like you're smashing a little child. Or uh, Gary Coleman, before he got looking, and he got old. You hear what I'm saying? I'll get you a little. I'll get you. A, I mean, a little person. You you hear what I'm saying? But no, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I say nothing is wrong. No, I just helped your point, but not on the agree. That shit's stupid as fuck. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, you can't. Have, like, I don't. I don't believe a fetish. Is something when you go and take advantage of a little person. Okay, look, I, I was gonna take advantage no, of a little person. Not, not a midget, I'm talking about a youngster, like a little kid. Because I look at this. As a grown man, I had way more experiences than any little 16, 18 year old. Look, listen, I yeah. can talk. I mean, so to me, I could talk. If, if I was on that stupid shit, I could talk her out of anything I wanted to get. Because you can do grown women like that to this day. And that, she, this bitch has been married and had 45, you know, all that. So I imagine you running on a little girl. Or, 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 yes, a or, or grown woman, especially a grown woman. It's, and they, they do grown men like this all the time. She know exactly what to get that boy. It don't take much for that boy to get piped up. You know what I'm saying? So she know exactly how to move. Like, I, I remember being in school, right? And this lady, uh, I ain't going to put her name out there. But she used to make us Because we acted a fool in her class My language I don't want to put the, Whatever she talked y'all Because that's going to figure out She make y'all eat a booty Nah nigga She used to um Put us in the Me and my cousin In the front of the class And she used to read to us But the whole time She was a yellow bone Big fine dog Big thighs nigga And she used to read to us She had a skirt on nigga She was right in front of her And it, it, she only did it When she was reading Y'all come to the front Mess in the front of the class Nigga she sit right there In the chair And clap them big old ass thighs Together with that skirt I mean, my cousin ain't here. Not one word. I was, I always saw was that piped up, dog. Piped up. But my thing, but she never acted on it. She give us a little hugs, tell her you looking good today. Rub on you. She got her little fix, right? And it was, we had another teacher who was actually knocking them. She was old and hurting. I went to hood school, matter of fact. So, you know, they was knocking them down. But she knew exactly how to get us riled up. Me and him. My, when my cousin did, I didn't. I'm a good guy. That woman was not trying to get y'all riled up on purpose. Boy, please. That woman was not giving... You crazy. That woman did not care about y'all. You crazy. Because <laughs> you know how I know? Because my, my cousin had a situation. Go ahead. What so, so, I'm saying she knew how to do that. Like, they, women women know how to seduce us as grown men. So, imagine how she do it. That's cheating. It's just like shooting fish in a barrel. Okay. So, both of us agree that it's not the best plan to smash I don't want to agree kids. with you on anything, really. Okay, so I'm you here, think it's I'm, a good I'm here plan. not to agree with you. So you, uh, it's, you, you think it's okay to smash no, children? No, it's not okay. I want you to be like, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Why do I want to say because that's okay? You, no, you, because you say what I'm saying you is, have fetishes. I, you can have a fetish. You could want to, I think it is completely okay for somebody, for a, for a priest to want to hit some, some cheering or for like a teacher to want to. You wanna, think it's... I think it is okay for them to want to. It's not okay for them to do it. I think that, and that it's, is that don't even sound crazy to me. That sounds very logical to me because I can wrap my head around different people having different things that they want to do. Like, I, like I remember my sister told me, "Oh damn, put my sister on front street." But anyway, hey long, sister, a long time ago she told me about some little dude she used to deal with who was telling her like, "Yeah, man, I just wanted, I need, I need a butt plug when I do it." And I thought that was like the gayest thing I ever heard in my life. The gayest thing. I've then ever I thought heard. about it a little bit later, and I was like, "If that's what that man want to do, and he doing it with a girl." That's not gay to me at all. So it's so. <laughs> so what you're telling me is, because I know somebody who has recently told me, very close family member, who has recently told me that she was jugging this dude, like banging him with a with a with a strap on, right? And he that's that's how he liked it, and he was busting like that. To me, was she a girl? Yes, my it's my it's my yes. That was a girl. Yes, she was a girl, and she was banging. And she was with a guy. Yes, her, his whole man. And I told her so she's gay. gay? It's gay as hell. What's the word gay mean, man? Dog. Homosexual? Gay. Is that what you mean? No, he gay. I don't know. She ain't not, homosexual. I'm not, I'm not looking for proper terms right now, bro. I'm telling you that anytime well, something. Well, you gotta tell me what the word mean if you're just gonna throw it out there. Like, he gay. That man gay. He like dick in his booty. He don't like dick in his booty. Yes, he does. He likes a dildo with his girlfriend. So a dildo's not a dick? No. It's a replica of a dick. 
So you think when 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 two women together they got a dildo that's that they smashing dick? No, that's not. No, they're not smashing dick. They 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 are turning me on. That's not the point. I'm kind of making there to be fair about it is that if you do something with a woman, I don't think anything you do with a woman is gay. You trip. No, it's dog. If 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 I let a woman penetrate my asshole, I don't think anything it's gay. that's gay. I just if we use because you like if we using the, if we using the loose term gay to mean it's you tell me what gay what gay mean to you then I mean that's why I ask you homosexual if that's what you meant because I don't think it's homosexual define the two what's the difference between the well two? homosexual is somebody who likes to have sex with um the same sex of an individual okay gay just mean oh that boy gay exactly <laughs> you just prove my point I guess I could I guess I could I guess I could go with that you just prove my point but he's not a homosexual though I didn't say that I said gay all right he could be gay. So let's say this: way back in your set, way, 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 way back in your savage days, right? Right? And you was out there bad before you all you was out there wild, right? And you, you know, we all been in rooms where the situation was sticky, was consensual, and might be one lady and a bunch of men in there, or whatever, right? I don't and know you, nothing about what you're talking about. So about us, you. So um yeah. So Usher, if we if we really gonna go back into him, I mean real quickly, um, Usher didn't hit that. He got a fetish. No, he don't. And Usher hit the big girl. He hit why, Qu- why Qu- do that? Can we call her by her name? What's the big girl name? Oh, uh, her name is Quantasia what? Sharpton, what? aka aka what's aka Angel Valentino, <laughs> aka. <laughs> Quantace Owens. So, aka, aka, I, I find my way and accuse niggas of doing shit, try to get money. She, aka, I know Usher would never fuck me. Usher absolutely hit that girl. No way. She's not even a pretty big girl though. She's a sloppy big girl. Uh, why, uh, Usher had the, the uh, Usher had the cream of the. They can pick anything. The cream of the crop. Let me tell you. Me tell you, 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 me, you mentioned this to me the other day. You said um, when because we we graduated the same year, so I guess we was both around around that year, running around with that. She likes it my way. Yeah, I had, uh, yeah, I had the little tape that in the no car. Way. Yeah, hey, Usher got me a lot of pussy though. Way back in the day, a lot of pussy. So pussy. my point, yeah, my point is just Usher's. You, the point you were making was that Usher been doing this for a minute. So, there's no way he would do that. And if he was knocking down big girls, it would have been so many that it came out. Do you know, there's been chicks when it came out, period, saying they fucked us. So, if it's a big girl, especially, if he had a fetish of fucking big girls, she would have been came. Number one, she would have been came out. Because this ain't her first This ain't her first time accusing somebody of some shit. What was the other time she accused somebody of something? Um, I, oh, August Alcina. And what did she say about August Alcina? That man got her pregnant. Okay, then. Maybe he did. Christ, dog. He, maybe he did. Okay, my oh. whole thing is, I think that, I think that through the, oh. through the, through the, through, I think. Listen, I'm gonna use your same argument against you and just say this. I think that when you grow up like the Chris Browns, the Ushers of the world, who like famous when they're 15, 16, yeah. 14 years old, Jermaine Dupri bringing you to strip clubs when you're a young cat. And you're smashing everything at a young age. I feel like it becomes a, a, a scenario where you run out of stuff to do. I understand that. <laughs> I can, I can know. I can completely understand that. Boy. So he didn't hit everything that was fine yes. before he was twenty years old. Yes. Man. But that don't make you want to go there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you, when you, when you don't. That man can't want something funky. No. That man can't just no. want to smell a big funky ass when she no. take off them big funky drawers. No, he don't. Uh, I, I, this I, podcast I, is brought to you by big girls because big girls going back it up. You need love too, so I'm hey. okay with big girls, hey. even slobbery ones. You like do whatever it is. Matter, There's no. somebody for everybody. It is, and, I'm, and big girls just have the best hairdos, by the way. Uh, <laughs> big no, they have the best hairdos ever, by the way. Like let's just go and get that out there. Don't big girls don't let don't let him do that. Y'all got the best hairdos, period. But us ain't hit her. <laughs> I know I went to school with a dude who just like big girls. Like that's all in college. His I can't say his name, but that's all he liked was big girls. That's yeah. it. No, 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 no. That's slobbery it. girls. And he was slim. Yes, they were big slobbery. Yeah, like three fifteens. You know what I'm saying? That's all. He, he was slim. Like he was like he was like six three, one eighty, one seventy five. Like he was slim, 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 slim. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He in jail now. But the the fact of the matter is, I, I've seen it. But that that was around. That's about the best he could do. I said when when R. Kelly years ago first got caught up peeing on a little girl. That was this. Like I was in college and I said, man, that nigga just ran out of stuff to do. 
I feel like no, Usher let's, ran let's, out of stuff to do. We can't put Usher in R. Kelly thing, but in it's R. all Kelly. fetishes. Now R. Kelly is a different animal, dog. It's all fetishes. R. Kelly's a different animal. Peeing on a chick and smashing fat, slobbering good women is the same type of two fetish. totally different things. I think he smashed Quantes, Quantes Owens, Angel Valentino. He didn't hit Angel. Like, why wouldn't he hit Angel? Why would he? Like I just told you, My, he, no, he didn't tried everything, and now he like, you know what? I'm I'm in Dayton, Ohio. On I'm a, a fine Tuesday a, night. I'm a fine slob. Hold on, hold on, Duh. hold on. No way. Last week, last Friday, I was in LA and I'm smashing just this gorgeous model. Okay. Last Saturday, I'm in, I, I didn't flew to Vegas and I hit this other two gorgeous models at the same time. Okay. Then I went on Sunday to this other city and I did the same thing. And then Monday, I'm in Houston and I didn't, and I didn't smash them. Okay. Else. Now it's Tuesday night. Yeah. I'm off of all these good jobs that I'm three, 271 days in a row just okay. smashing the best, baddest chicks. And I'm like, this fat girl get on the stage and I'm like, you know what? Let's smash this big fat thing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Let me hit this big it's thing no tonight. There's no way. Kind of, I'm in Dayton, Ohio. There's no way. I'm, these hoes that's heard. You know what it is? That's, that's, like, that's, like, that's like only... I'm in Baton Rouge uh, or something. No way. If they ran out of stuff to eat? No way. No way. You don't feel like Gordon Ramsay or one of no, these, not, these no, no, chefs I, who making all this good food one every now and again say, let me go get Jack in the Box today. He don't eat Jack in the Box. Well, Usher ate Jack in the Box. <laughs> Usher did eat Angel's Box. He ate Angel's she Valentino. No, she could use Usher for tampon at that time. She said, they said she t told August I seen he was pregnant. Hey, she was pregnant by him. I, my whole, my, my big thought on it is just that, um, this I feel she like do. she really did smash Usher, and she been telling all her friends she smashed Usher for the last few years, and they was and they all like, mm -hmm, yeah, right, girl, I guess if you say so, and they all just looked at her crazy. Then she just saw her opportunity, cutting it. She was like, you know what? I really did smash Usher. Now it's time to let like this is more about recognition that she smashed Usher. Then that, actually, I, I if they happen, I agree. Then with actually, about because then she over there talking about I ain't got it, but I ain't got it. Yeah, but I ain't got it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. If, if, I don't believe he hit, but I agree with that. It's more like saying, yeah, I fucked us. Yeah. Like she proving the point. I mean, yeah, I stuck with us. She proving the point, right? But my whole thing about that is, bro, is that number one, when you came to the press conference, man, you shouldn't have wore that that moo whatever that thing you had on, right? I, that's why I was mad. I mean. Listen, I don't believe you because you you didn't present yourself as something I, I feel like Usher would knock down. Mm -hmm. Like if you'd have came with your fresh hair do, like big girls come with them with the the baby back wing eyelashes. How big girls come? Nah, big girls come with that fresh quick wig. How many oh, big girls you didn't make come? I ain't never made no big girl come. I'm too little. Go ahead. I'm like 190 pounds, dog. She can she can put me she can put my whole body in that stuff, dog. I can't do that. What I'm gonna do with a big girl? Mm -hmm. I'm too light. Now you on the other hand. That's about your speed All day Yeah Anyway What I'm saying is I didn't believe her The way she presented herself dog. If she have came Glammed up With the And got the With the little thing They get to keep the, their stomach in The corset that Yeah like Fool me Then I'm But the way you came Dry Looking retarded No Usher ain't hit you Okay I think Usher hit that thing no, I'm sure of it And Why I'm, even, so I'm even more sure That August Alcina Hit that thing Cause he's from New Orleans. I could definitely see already. He got like a little before. glaucoma thing going. Yeah, and, and his and eyes he's retarded thing. already. Yeah, he's yeah. about to die and stuff. All right, yeah, all right. August, I've seen a pipe that hold out. Yeah, but it's, it's crazy that. that well, I, one time I went to a concert at Essence Fest, and um, somebody behind me, they told me, look behind you. They said that's Usher's wife or Usher's ex wife. Whoever she's old, the old chick. And I turned around and looked at it, and I was like, she hey. regular. I was like, oh, she Reggie. Uh huh? Oh, she. Was, was, he was with Chili too though My point is That's my point uh, August Alcina So say he was killing Miracle Wise They can You can hit the highest And the lowest Cause them, them boys Hit Quantes That's a low They hit two different people That's Usher, a Usher hit Quantes You're shocked then. August what? Alcina he hit Quantes Owens <laughs> Oh Angel Valentino He hit Angel Valentino He hit Angel Valentino, he hit Angel Valentino. That, She said Yeah I'm Bobby Valentino bro, Sister <laughs> Bobby Valentino They say he smashed punks too But like Same not too much. I believe, Slow I believe down. Bobby did that. Yeah, well. That. Okay, so what's more likely? They said um they said Usher hit um Quantes and then another Jane Doe and another John Doe. What's more likely? Did Usher hit a dude? John Doe. Or did Usher hit that girl? John Doe. So it's way more likely he hit a guy than he hit Quantes. John Doe. 
You out your rabbit ass, John Doe. I believe he gay for I believe he knocked it down. <laughs> sure. That's how strong I am on one point. I really believe that he hit he hit Buddy before he hit Angel. <laughs> I promise I do. Like with all my heart though. Like it come from my soul. Like, yeah, my large intestine, it comes up and says he hit a dude before he hit old girl. Like if it was a dude came out, like, yeah, you know, with the little heels, the little strong punks with the heels, he be in the gym every day with the low haircut and lipstick and some eyelashes. Usher knocked you down. I agree. <laughs> Usher knocked you down. But you know why I agree? Why? Because I don't think people go to the authorities and go file complaints if they ain't really, if the shit ain't really happened. I feel like he smashed. Whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Whoa. Okay, I mean, in a lot of cases, Whoa. they do. But in this particular case, Whoa. in this particular case, I don't think you're going to the authorities to say, oh, she's smashing, and you might have herpes unless he actually did smash you. My, you're crazy. My point is. You're crazy. My you want to know why you do that? Because you broke, you ain't got shit, and you see the opportunity. If he wouldn't have paid that job shit, some kind of, you but gotta, you, you, my thing is you would have already came out with it. You gotta have you been, late. You no. gotta have been in a situation. No, you don't. You don't think you, you gotta think these people got no you think these people got no kind of um story, no kind of evidence, no kind of nothing. Bruh, they got forward. I, dog, listen here. I'm let me tell you something about question. let me tell you something about when do I really fuck with Charlo Man God say, uh, nobody believes the truth and the lies more entertaining. All you need all she needed is that video of her riding him on that thing for us to be like, he did it. That's all she needs. She don't need nothing. If, if, if she wouldn't have had that on the stage, nothing on stage, being nowhere close to Usher, once she found that video, she's like, got him. Got him. I'm going. Bitch, I'm finna go. So, you know, oh, it's maybe, easy. You know what? And I guess I agree with you. But my bigger point is that he smashed them both. He ran out of shit to do. So he starts smashing dudes the too. And the he smashed the punk and he smashed the big girl. He did the both of them. The he did both of them. I'm not going to... What? Okay, what year was this? What, what What? What? was Usher at this time? I don't know. Was he... Um, I, don't, I don't know the whole backstory, I'm, but I know Usher smashed. Maybe if he was, yeah, that Usher, he hit with the U-Chain. Not U-Chain Usher. Uh, moving Mountains Usher. Nah, he hit the butt probably back then. But he ain't hit that big one. He hit Big Mama probably not so long ago. I, if, if, if it's it was, obviously part of the camera phone era because that's was, when they had yeah, dancing the dancing on the camera phone era. Uh, what? But that was the camera phone era. I was thinking about that shit just now when you was talking about the uh, camera phone era. <laughs> when you was talking about uh, like, we was talking about smashing the kids, how screenshot just really fucked up the game. Uh, screenshot is old. Screenshot know, killed the game. A woman made screenshot. That's, a, that's how. That's a woman's invention. Well, that's how them kids. That's how people get caught nine times out of ten doing shit they ain't got no business. That's doing. a woman's invention. Like they screenshotted that A woman yes. came up with the screenshot Yeah I guarantee Absolutely It's, and a, great, it's a great feature it's, Oh it's the best feature But that's how I know A woman came up with it. Receipts Just for the receipts Just for the receipts Usher smashed that punk And Usher um, yeah, I heard you say earlier though A little bit He was just talking about How Fridays would go down In the teacher community yeah. right? I mean I know, as, a, as, a, as an educator I don't know I, I say this sometimes That I'm, I'm an educator So I'm still an educator You're an educator so. I just don't teach in the classroom no more. But I mean, I, I got a lot of got a lot of years of teaching in the classroom. And a lot ignorant. Of, very ignorant. I think I will, I think I'm not gonna do no. Um, I'm gonna let the content speak for itself. This okay. is my thought with the um, with the educated ignorance covers. I'm not. We we might not do the covers the same way as Best Friend Weekend. We just be educated and ignorant, and we just keep the same fucking keep the same. Um, I was thinking the same thing. And it might be it might be easier. It's it might be easier to do a couple of things. But anyway, you was talking about Fridays. Teachers go for whatever. Yeah. Um, what is what is go for whatever? Um, usually I feel like on, on Fridays, you know, t teaching is a is a tricky profession, man. Um, top three freakiest professions, along with nursing and flight attendants and preachers' kids. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a profession. <laughs> it could be it's it, profitable. It, it, yeah, but um, you know, I, I think on Friday, you know, teaching all all, all week from children that's not yours. With different, you know, bunch of different uh, learning abilities on different levels, all the stuff they got you doing, and the low pay, you know, on Friday it's like shh, I'm about whatever. You stressed out, you know, you tired, sick of them kids. You ready to cut loose, and it might be that little thing on campus you've been looking at, and you trying to get them a happy hour. Well, you, know you said I mean? that little thing on campus. What, what you was really saying um, earlier when we was running it, you was more specific. You wasn't talking about just that random one-off on campus. Oh, I'm talking about that period, though. Like, it's, it's I agree with what you're saying, but I think, look, this is something um, that I've always thought. The two most whole days for teachers mm -hmm. of all days, mm -hmm. two whole days. You said every Friday they'd be whole. Every Friday. But what's the two most whole days? The two most? It's that Christmas break. And? Last day of school. I think that's definitely the two. But which one's the worst? 
Last day of school. I think it's that Christmas break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you'd be, you'd be eager for it. Cause it's like you hurt and you're yeah. ready to get off. Yeah. Man. And you yeah. get off an hour. Well, I, well, no. Yeah, you, you get off an hour. You get out, you get out an hour early. Or something. You know what I'm saying? And, and then had some a little, a little luncheon. Yeah. On campus. You ate good. Got that food in your system. Y'all going happy hour as a group. Yeah. Somebody gonna get a little bit looser than what they should be. You always find out who the hoe is real fast. Really fast. Real quick, you be like, oh, she the hoe. I didn't been in the presence of the hoe before. I don't been. I don't. I don't even sit next to the hoe. I didn't been. I didn't. I didn't. I, been, I didn't walked out with the hoe, and then people been looking at me like he. Didn't I, I've out been with sitting the next to the hoe and felt really uncomfortable because I didn't want nobody to think I was fucking this yeah. hoe. Yeah. Because I, she wasn't the hoe I would not die. Yeah, but that's the thing. The hoe would be like, come, and, come take she, a little walk with me. But she knows everybody. Because, you know, I'm elementary. Come get a cigarette with me. Yeah, and so I go walk with I, the hoe. And I'm like, I'm oh, elementary, man, so I'm walking with the hoe. I'm one of the only dudes on the campus. Yeah? Right? You? So, yeah. Just fishing with dynamite. <laughs> I don't do that, man. I'm a good dude, man. Um, So, <laughs> I'm a good dude, man. You're going you to catch me out here now. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? I've been sitting next to the hoe on accident. Like, I don't, I, I've been stopped going to the happy hour a long time because I, I saw what it was. You the only dude there. They might have one other dude there. He lame. Lame, man. And then, oh, he gay. And they asking you all these questions about who, what, yeah, what yeah, you yeah, like, yeah, how yeah, you yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, the next round of drinks come, and then it's freaky shit. Yeah, and then the conversation gets yeah. off the rails. Yeah. What kind of drawers you wear? I seen I seen them. You wore these them white shorts. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's I, and I agree with that. I th- and I think it's that is. It's wild on Fridays with teachers. I think, I think the specific part we was laughing about earlier was that, um, it don't just be no random. No. No. It be it be the most fear slash um not fear. Cool yet ho ass. I but I got my eye on you as <laughs> individual at the school. Yeah. <laughs> that we refer to as the work husband. Mm-hmm. Now the work husband is not contained to just education. No, it's not. It's every profession. It's every profession. There's a work husband. And it's not even the person that you really want to fuck either. It's just, what What? What? what would you say? I some think of it's the, the, it's the some person, characteristics. I think the character of a work husband is like, okay, he, he he's the person who, he thoughtful and think about you, you know, he get you some coffee every now and then, he that little dude. He cooks something, you hungry? You know what I'm saying? He should have his little, his little Tupperware with you. You know what I'm saying? He ain't never really just came at you, at you. But I feel like if you wanted to, you would. You know what I mean? That's, I, and then, too, that's your way, especially if he's one of the only dudes there, or one of the only legit dudes there, or, or acceptable guys on, 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 you know, at the workplace. He'll be telling you about what he do, like how he be, how he be doing the other ones. Yeah. He'll be really... Or, or he'll be putting you like, hey, you know, she tried to holler at me the other day. I was like, nah, we went out here. Oh, he'll be like, I went out with old girl the other day. I yeah. old girl the other day. I did that. But, 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 but she'll be like, I'm going to make sure that they close to me so they know. You know what I'm saying? Women, women have ulterior motives, bro. Yeah, they gotta keep. I think women keep them a work husband around. They, yes, because when 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 a man when you fuck up as a man at home, work husband making them feel better. But I mean, the yes. work. Okay, so if, if if it's twenty four hours in a day, and let's just say eight hours is sleep. Let's. I mean, I know some people don't sleep, like this cat I'm sleep. sitting in here with. I don't sleep. Oh, uh, I don't get tired. Huh? And let's say eight hours is at work. I get tired of it. So then that's eight that's eight hours left. Yeah. So let's say them eight hours at work, you're around your work husband a lot of those eight hours. Yeah. Don't let it be no co teach situation or something oh. where they're around each other all the time. But then you go home and like you gotta drive home, you go work out, you mm-hmm. go do grocery. You only be with your significant other about like five hours yeah. a day. So you get home at what? You get off at four? So you get off four five? So you do nine five, right? You go work out after that? You get home about seven thirty eight? You with you, you with you, you with you, you with your significant other, yeah. Okay, so the work husband get the inside track on a lot Everything, of stuff. Yeah. The thing is, just as there's a work husband, it's got to be a work wife. Definitely a work wife. And th- let me tell you, I'm from my old, my, my work wife to be. A we old. all got a work wife. I like my I like my work wife's old. You know why? Because that's my work mom. That's true. A work mom is I, different than a work. Wife. I got like two or three of them. I oh, okay, so a work wife got a favorite. Thing. So you know what uh, the the crazy part is? A work wife, there's a work wife can't be garbage. Nah, you can't handle a couple work wife. You gotta be at least something to look at while you're at the job to be like, like oh, even if you don't, like after a while you start you stop looking at them sexually. You yeah. don't look at them sexually Which no more. Cool. But you but you like that she still gotta be fine. Yeah, your work wife gotta be fine. Um, 
So if as a man we both know your work wife gotta be fine. Yeah. And there's a such thing as a work husband, which you probably are somebody's work husband, mm-hmm. even if you know it or if you don't, oh, you're yeah. somebody work husband. Definitely. I found that out the hallway. Yeah, I mean I didn't hear people refer to it at our job, like, mm-hmm. yeah, something, 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 you work wife. And mm-hmm. they'll, they'll throw it out there. My thing is, that make me way more leery on them Fridays when them teachers is all whatever. If, I, if you didn't mess up with your girl and your girl a teacher, I don't trust that old work husband individual. Fuck that boy. <laughs> <laughs> you good. <laughs> okay. Because that's how I feel. My mouth messed up. I'm that's, sorry. I, I hear y'all. Uh, nah. I it's, it's, but yeah, like, I don't like him at all. Because number one, if I, because me, I'm going to go to my old lady job and check it out. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. But it's dangerous. I'm, what? I'm going to go check him out and see. I'm, I ain't going to I'm going to just see what's around. You going to check him out? I'm, I'm, you going to come at him? I'm going to just see what's around. Gonna no, let me tell you how I'm going to come in. I'm going to come in now. <laughs> I'm going to see what's around. I'll be like, he got potential to be there. He got, okay. So she got three possibles. Because women do the same thing to us. We don't know it. Mm. They come they come to your top bitch job or come over there. They done peeped every chick out there. And then women, you know, women go to their they, they pages and find out they married and all that stupid stuff, right? So anyway. You know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check the, the, the scene, see how 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 she looking over here, and then um, you know, I be like, okay, she got three over there, <laughs> in a possible. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like she got about four books. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> she got four books, and I look at my shot. I, I got a few books in my school. I ain't doing. I'm chilling, man. So you you mess up, and then she come home, and she and then you see, and she still good, or she out. You remember old buddy who used to hoop with us? They say um, they ran on him at the job because because the hus- the real husband came work run on the work husband. Yeah, man, you heard this story. They ran on it, boy. We'll, we'll talk about that another time. No, what buddy? Buddy with the uh, tight pants. Oh, <laughs> for real? Yeah, they say somebody ran. Oh, the, the the work the the big. They say the freak of the week. Oh yeah, the, uh, and he was over that work husband in the. But maybe a little bit too he close. He was doing too much. Probably so. I don't know what that even means, though, but I probably so. That. And they say the real husband pull up on him. Pull up. Stop I'm pulling up on you, nigga. You know what's funny, though? I was at my job. It's a, uh, we was talking about big girls. My uh, my big co-worker, she big. She your work husband? No, definitely not. We cool. Like, she like a work sister. Oh, so you work white. Oh, she a work sister. Yeah, like got a work sister. sister. Yeah, so she cool. Like, But she big. Like, she big, big, right? And, um... We always playing or whatever, talking and all chilling. You know, I'll just, we just be playing. You know, I'm, I'm retarded. So, and one day I'm going to the thing. No, definitely not that. <laughs> definitely not that. It has to be like this. That's been my whole one. <laughs> but um, one day I'm going to the parking lot. I see, hey, what's up, man? You know, he cool. I call him big. I, I know him. He cool. So, um, go on me. Like, man, come here. Let me talk to you, man. He's big super H-Town dude. i like, what's up, bro? He's like, man, you know, that's my wife, fool. And I'm like, yeah, you know what I mean? I was at the wedding, you know? Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, talking, he's like, yeah, man, but, you know what I'm saying, y'all kind of close, man. He was being serious. And I said, man. She was garbage? Dog. And he was being serious. She LBS is like three something. He was, right? he was, he was, he was. Dog, let me just put it in context for you. And she cool, like, oh, if she hit this, no, nah, I love you to death. Like, she lost 150 pounds. And still was big. And still was like, she like two something. Like 280, 200, like. Yeah. So I mean, I and, but she's what is he wonderful doing? person. But what, is he, but, what is, but what is he doing? Though? He was trying to protect. He was trying to in, insinuate that I was shooting his old lady. The, that that probably made him feel good though. No, it didn't. It, it made him feel. It like, made me feel horrible. But it made him feel. Because like, I feel like what kind of dude you think I am that I have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and when he said I was like bro this podcast is brought to you by bad decision <laughs> no way <laughs> so I'm like dog what okay I can agree about a lot of that but like what my point I'm basically saying to further your point yeah. I think that man was just trying to kind of step up and say my wife's bad he, oh, he feel he feel like he feel that's that what he do. He love her and he, and he look at you like you the work husband. And he don't know you the work brother. Yeah, he think you the work husband. That's he what I'm yeah, See, I, I didn't, I've never checked a work husband. You know what? Let me not even say that. I didn't went to like some ugly sweater parties mm-hmm. or some other stuff and been around my old lady like in a in her friends in the past, right? Yeah. Well, I didn't walked in there and teach her stuff. But my my my. Like, this is how I do it. Like, she she one time told me something about this guy who was at the job with her who was being real. Like, they went to, like, a happy hour or something. And then he came at her neck. Was like, him too? No, no. It was a bunch of people. But oh, okay. he came at her neck. Like, he shot a shot. He shot a shot, shot. Yeah. And she was like, uh, get out of my face. Um, You know I got a dude. You didn't met my dude. So this was about three, four years ago. I don't know. Beefing. 
So you no, did. no, I did. when you I walked did. up on him, you know what I did him? Uh, I just was like, we was at an, another little party, little ugly spread, probably, I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm shaking everybody, hey, how yeah. you doing, how you doing? When I walked up on him, I just gave him a tight grip and I just looked at him in the face and was like, what's up, my dog? You all right? You good? You all right? Straight, you straight, bro? You all right? <laughs> yeah, you feel that. I mean, that's uh, all it is. Because he know. He absolutely he know. Because now time to Because when lame, you shoot your shot, you know. But you know what that mean? He thought you was a lame. Yeah, but he he realized real quickly when the he realized you realized real quickly. That's one of the funniest things, man. This podcast is brought to you by black people things that black people know that you don't even have to say nothing about. Not even black people. Everybody kind of know that. True. True. If somebody come at you and say you good, you straight, you straight, you straight dog. No yeah. smile, no laugh. Look, just, if you look, you squint, look you, in your face. Eyes, you know. He, he, he gonna, his mind gonna just roll a dex to everything he didn't did. Damn, I tried oh, to, I tried to all that. that. I tried to all that. Well. She must have told him. Might and guess what? She never story. came back and told me. Oh, he he brought that up again because no. he, he it's time to shut up. It's time to not. Bring if, it if I was him, if I was Mother doing the holiday light, right? Soon you turn your back. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I w- see, d- see. That's the difference between that's the difference between us and them. Because if somebody walk up with you good, I'm like, I would respond with, what, what? nigga, you good? You good? <laughs> you, good? you good? You good? You good? You good, my nigga? <laughs> see, that's how you know. This, this, you good? Because you act like, hey, what, how you doing, my nigga? You good? Yeah, you good? You straight? You good? I'm good. You, you good? You straight? My oh no. You- Oh, so you, so you uh, good? You good, nigga. What's up? <laughs> like, that's, yeah. I mean, it automatically go there. It's simple though. It yeah, but that's 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 kind of the, the formula for it's that's beef though. That you is beef. Saying? That's beef. But I think that's the. I'm gonna tell y'all too, a though. teacher story on on one of these subsequent um so subsequent educated ignorant pods where we're gonna talk about when the boy tried to beat me up on campus for smashing um. His old lady, but I was in his old lady way before that was his old lady. Then they got together and boy tried to try to hook me, hook me in a in a in a um in like a little a little science closet, man. It was a funny story. At school, at school. <sighs> hey man, she feels disrespected. What? He didn't try to hook me physically, but he, he was trying to intimidate. Any, any time you tell me, any, any, any time a dude, if you come to me and say, tell me your woman feel disrespected, I automatically think you're a bitch. And what I mean, talking? well, in the because back of my head, I was thinking like, about well, if, all if, of the sluttiness yeah, over the time. If it's beef, though, you know, I don't care if she feel disrespected. Get the fuck out my face, man. Really? Awesome with but like, you see, when the beef come out of left field, that's the ones that bother you because you don't ex- it work you're not well. expecting it. Yeah. It's at work. I'm a totally different So you be like, your mind, it take your mind so long to even get back in the. Cause I mean we code switch. Yeah. As black men, you gotta we code switch. We have to though. And like the only way you're gonna be successful too, bro. Obviously, cutting. So I mean let's let's wrap, because I mean we're gonna wrap this pile with one thing. Because we're on this conversation about work fetishes and not work fetishes, but work husbands and work wives. Yeah. Um I watched the episode of Power last week. I know you're on that power too. Tasha ain't shit, bro. The episode was called You Lied to My Face. I think it was Tasha episode ain't seven. Shit, man. Tasha got us some more dick. She did. Tasha, um, my the, thing. What, what is Tasha looking for, bro? My the, the, to me, Tasha started like Ghost. Really, he loves shot Tasha, right? He loved. He took care of her, brought her off the hood and everything. And she's a big part of it too. She, yeah. Don't say he brought out the no, no, big, no. big she, together. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they're yeah. the ones who yeah, she, and, and, and she's the brains of it. A lot of it. But yeah. my, my whole thing with Tasha is this: the man came to you and said, basically told you, if you knew him like he's supposed to know, he told you he didn't want to do this no more. And you, well, when she, uh, was it season one or two? What she said, what you think about me? No, are you the best damn drug dealer? He ain't want to be that no yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. He was basically telling you, baby, I don't want to do this no more. I got a way we can do this legally. Mm-hmm. Fabulous said that I don't want to mix that. And get out. <laughs> he did? Yeah, he was like, what you think? I'm thinking about getting out the game. She's like, what would you do for that fuck? You yeah. got all the money and the power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. He, but they, well, he, was, he was trying to go legal. That's why he got He's still club. trying to go legal. He's still trying to go there. But my thing is, that's the only reason he messed with Angela. Cause that's like that he feel like he and could they, be but some, see, that, that really she happened. said that it feel like it could be somebody that he not he could be somebody he not with Angela so who was no, no he could be it's definitely Tasha that man had a whole side relationship had his kids no, going miss, to that bitch house he he down bad Don't got him got him locked up hey, everything hey he wildin let me tell you why Tasha so much worse Tasha you 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 busted open for the driver come on man the driver. This is one. In the back of the car, dog. This no. is one, dude. And then you go and get the lame daddy. You seen the meme? Tasha risking it off for this clown? Well. Do the clown, man. Come on, man. You he know, right, he right place, right time. And I think Tasha, too, is on some 
You know what? If I'm ghost, I'm more upset about her smashing the lawyer than about her smashing the doctor, the driver. And I'm going to tell you, you why. Great. The driver is like a little young me up and coming. Like he a little, he a little, because you remember Sean was trying to dress like ghost. Yeah. Trying, I, I'm okay if you, if you lashing out and you're going to go smash the little dude who like is like a young, but we could, we both on the same, in the same lane. And he know he not at me. He know I'm boss status. And he little dog status. And he coming at me like, why you don't treat your wife right? Yeah. So, I mean, I get it. Whatever you want to smash. I, look, I, look, I, look I get that. that. But if you smash the lawyer, I feel like that's a different lane. That's a cat who probably think in his head that he live as me. He think he on like me. I don't, want, I don't want my girl smashing nobody who think they... I don't want my girl smashing nobody. Period. Let's get that. Let's, let's say that. This podcast is brought to you by bitch. If I catch you cheating. Hey. This project brought to you by bitch. Don't fucking play with me. <laughs> <laughs> off top, off top, I'm left on you. I, off top. Go ahead, I mean, because if you really want to know our hey, hey, opinion on this, hey, you know hey. what I'm saying? Fuck that. I'm dancing around and Tasha was dead wrong. What? Way worse than Ghost. Way worse than Ghost. Why are you playing? Ain't no way. Way I'm worse than Ghost. Ghost. Ghost was looking for something that Tasha. He he wanted it from Tasha. She didn't get it. She didn't give it to him. On on uh, numerous occasions, he was because she, she didn't support the club. Angela came in. Now, for me, he's stupid because she was the feds. Stupid, but, stupid. Dumb, dumb, dumb. But at the same time, though, you know, me and Flesh, our flesh weak as fuck, bro. She ain't got no ass either. Man, she poo. Man, she cute. That's about it. She okay. She was cute. She she's old. She's getting I went perfect. IMDB. She about 40 something. Yeah, but she don't. When you, every, like, some angles you get her from, you be like, oh. And then some angles you be like, nah, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm good. But you know, hey, ain't gonna lie, Tasha got some of the best, nice, nicest titties. Tasha is, Tasha is. Tasha titties nice. Tasha is a very sexy human being. I can say titties on me, titties. I can say all kinds of shit on me. I know, I know, yeah, Tasha, I, nice. Tasha, Tasha is a very sexy woman. I don't think she the cutest thing. She's sexy. She mom? She definitely is mom in the context of that show. Yeah. yeah now, I mean, I she, she mom in the context of anything. Lie if your old lady, if your old lady look like, um, Look like Tasha, you'd be okay with that. If you yeah. and let me take that, let me take it even a step further. If you're a child's mother, look yeah. like Tasha, yeah. you would be completely yeah, fine with that. Yeah. You'd be like, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, a, I got a wife. I'm straight. Like that's a, I'm she's right. not hurting right. in she no hurt. kind hurting. of. Hurting. I didn't say she was hurting. She is a strong yeah. fucking seven. Smart as fuck. Strong she's seven smart. eight. She, right. Yeah, that's she's what strong. you need. She's a strong seven. <laughs> strong seven. <laughs> strong seven. <laughs> I get it. She ain't got no ass either. And you can have, but she's you can have mom that's a strong seven. Yeah, they got any ass in everything. But he 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 goes out there stepping out with a with with an exotic six. <sighs> It's an exotic six. An in, in, in exotic Angela six. Angela is an exotic six. An exotic six is is in, on the regular scale is probably like a eight, nigga. But she is an exotic six. She's an exotic six, like cause on the, on the oh, exotic okay. on the exotic okay. six, she's really a five. Because yeah. nowadays these exotics they different. And it's not even really exotic. She really just just, regular, just a Latino. She's a regi, regi Latino. But I get your point. But she ex, it's exotic to a little nigga from the hood. Yeah, just Louisiana dude. Period. Though, cause we didn't we grow with white and black people. Well, Ghost not from Louisiana. <laughs> 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 that's, that's what I'm saying. Not too much. Oh yeah, we never. Yeah, yeah. Different. No, you're right though. It's different. Yeah, Unless you're I mean, loose. The, yes. The, Lord, the, the first couple of times I'd never had um, dated a woman that was like not black or white. It did feel very exotic to me. It, it felt fun. like I'm I'm, in, I'm learning so much stuff. It's interesting. So I can understand how yeah. it goes to get you start, you start eating stuff you just never ate before, like pussy. Nah, I mean, nah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> I ain't no new pussy. <laughs> I ain't new to this, I'm sure. I'm not new to this, but I, hey. But no, so, no, I, I think we both in agreement that Tasha is definitely worse. Because two just beats one. Two, two is greater than one. Long. Now, granted, I get, and women gonna be like, well, he was in a whole relationship with, of no, course, of course whatever, that. whatever. Of course but the, at, the, at the same time, though, you gotta realize, women, when that, when, woman that, when, when, if you if you if you with him, and you supposed to know that man throughout. And they've been with each other for years. Ghost came to her, trying to let her know that I don't want to be this life no more, mama. And she ain't support him. You know what I'm saying? And Ghost ain't the nagging dude. He just so happened to meet her, and that's how shit happened to you. And it vice versa for dudes too. You know what I'm saying? She want he wanted something different, man. He didn't want he didn't want to be on dope deal because he know the, the results. I just I'm just happy he broke out of that that cycle of. They say every episode he was doing three things. 
He was going to the club, yeah. smashing Angie yeah. and texting. It. That shit. Every episode, that shit. That it just. Know it all. And at the in the same time, his son I just with Cannon, like, Tommy bro. over there messing up hey, the whole empire. Ty, Ty, um, you know who Tasha smashing you know, you know the who driver. Is. Everything Ty, happened. Let me tell you, Tyreek is and you and you had. To, oh, we're gonna have a whole podcast on call, who Tyreek is. I'm not gonna call his name, but I know exactly. You know who I'm talking about. We had this family. That, he's a family. I went. You know, I had his kids in my school, and then they went to your school. <laughs> Real privileged motherfuckers <laughs> think they something. Something, 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 but the thing about Tyreek is, it's in his blood too, and he getting good at the stuff. Did you watch the episode that come on today? No, I did not watch. Oh, you don't week. watch him at twelve o'clock? Yeah, I'm not. I don't be up that late. Nah. You up till seven eight? Yeah, I didn't go to about seven, about six thirty, six forty five this morning. So either I get your point. We could talk about. I think we got a couple more um, weeks of power, and when power wrap, we we could do that little. Um, we could talk about Tyreek and what kids and you. what student you what had. Type of, Dog. That's like Tyreek because I'm. You don't have to be this clown. I and mean, people you went to school with too. I'm to school with some dude like that. Like, bro, you don't got. You ain't got to do that. Dog. What are you doing? Man. Trying to be cool. Dog, pro, dog, you had a whole. You had a super private school. You ain't just had no. You know what I'm saying? Private school. Why was was punking him though at the beginning? Yeah, because he was a he was a bitch. Like he wasn't real like until he got until he got with Kanan. Kanan, Kanan put that boy um hood level on a million boy. Kanan Fifty. Yeah, they gave that boy that credit. Hey man, look, this is we we hitting the hour mark. You know we don't like to do too much longer because I know y'all attention span is real about. short on this best friend weekend podcast. Hey man, y'all give give us some good feedback. We gonna um, hey, my first time, man. Fuck y'all. This is first time. <laughs> I guess this is. I guess that's that boy. Um, he broke his chair. Um, <laughs> hey, one thing I want to say though, man. Hey, this week, um, today I did something for somebody I ain't know, and it felt good, bro. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know the dude. Um, he needs some help. And I did it, you know what I mean? And it felt good, bro. You know what I mean? Like, just a total stranger, man. Like a complete stranger. Um, he ran out of gas. I saw him run out of gas. He pushed his car up in the thing. He was just sitting out there trying to figure out how he was going to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and he, was, he wasn't even black. He was just uh, a, a, little, a little Hispanic dude. <laughs> I mean, I ain't trying to break. He was just a Hispanic dude. You know what I'm saying? Not to say. He wasn't even black because he had to be black if I'm going to help him. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I, I helped him, man. He was a little Hispanic dude. A white one of them. I don't know. But, um, hey, this week, man, do something for somebody you don't know. Just... Random act, just random act of kindness, man, and just see how you feel, bro. Cause I feel good today. The structure gonna be different, but educated ignorance gonna be some some interesting stuff. So listen, y'all who listening out there who got wives and siblings and whomever else or yourself are in education, it's coming. Be pre- it's coming. It's, and it's coming. about to be. It's about to be geared towards it's, towards hey, teachers, and it's, it's about gonna to be, be educated. Is it gonna be? And it's definitely gonna be ignorant. You hear, you, you hear how I talk. <laughs> that boy can tell me stop cussing so much. Like, like, it's gonna be educating and ignorant, man. I'm gonna break down our credentials in the next Thank week. Thank you for having me, man. Shout out Rod Smooth. What's that? Check y'all next week.